Okay, today I wanted to talk about the importance of centeredness of contact. Now, this was really drilled into me when I had my years of teaching for Jim McLean. Jim McLean is a top-ranked instructor. He has his home school in uh, Miami, Florida, and he's written a book called The Eight-Step Swing Book. And in that book, there is a list of fundamentals. So basically, the common fundamentals of all great ball strikers. But the number one fundamental in that book is called centerness of contact. Now, there's one specific thing that he wrote about in that book that I think is extremely important to know. Uh, and I wanted to talk to you about that today. What does centerness of contact actually control? Well, the first thing that it controls is that it controls the direction the ball goes in. So you might think about this. If I hit the ball dead center, typically the ball will go in the direction that the face is pointing at, at impact. However, if you hit the ball more on the toe due to something called gear effect, a toe shot will tend to hit a hook. So for a right-handed player, it would curve to the left. If you hit the ball more on the heel, it'll tend to hit the ball to the right and it'll tend to slice due to something called gear effect. So hitting the ball literally in the center of the face will actually control the direction of the ball because it actually puts curve on the ball if you miss the center, uh, center, center part of the club. Uh, the second thing it controls is distance. So when you hit the ball off the toe or the heel, it could it significantly impacts your distance and also it impacts how, how solidly you hit the ball. So when you hit it off the toe or the heel, I mean, you could lose up to 30 or 40 yards off your drive just by hitting toe or heel shots, or probably even more, depending on the severity of how much you hit on that toe or that heel. So it controls your distance. But the third thing that it controls, and this is probably my favorite thing that Jim talked about in his book, once again, the eight-step swing book, and I'll put the link down here in the in below in the description if you want to get a copy of that book. But anyways, <clears throat> what it controls is your perception of how you swung, which is such an incredible statement. So when you miss the centeredness of contact, it controls the perception of how you swung. And I can't tell you how many times I've seen a student on my lesson tee make a phenomenal golf swing. However, it was just a slight bit off the toe or a slight bit off the heel, which then makes them think that they made a horrible swing and they go off on tangents trying to change their swing, when in reality they just missed the centerness of contact. And what controls the centerness of contact more than anything? It's called eye-hand coordination. Being coordinated is, is an inc incredibly important thing in all of sports, but particularly golf, because we're trying to hit the smallest ball in sports with the smallest club face, and it requires an incredible amount of precision. And sometimes we just make a mistake and we hit it a little bit on the toe or a little bit on the heel or a little bit on the bottom of the club, which we would consider a thin shot. So you just, it's just missing the center of the face a little bit. So that last point of the fact that it, it, it affects your perception of your swing is super important. And I would try to advise you on the fact that if you miss the centerness of the contact, Try maybe next time just trying to be aware of where you're hitting the ball on the face. And the easiest way to do that is to get some, uh, I don't have some with me today, but some foot powder like Dr. Schultz foot powder. And what you can do is you just spray it on your club face. So you just spray it on the club face. And then when you go to hit the ball, there will be an impact on your club face to show you where you're hitting it. So first off, it's just the awareness of where you're hitting it. And then trying to use your coordination to swing away from that area. So, um, so yeah, this video is just really, to, the purpose of it was to talk about the importance of centeredness of contact and how it controls the three things, direction of the golf ball, how far the ball goes, and then most importantly, it controls your perception of your swing, which eventually it controls your confidence and your mental game, which then eventually controls really almost everything. When you're playing very confidently, it's almost like you're unstoppable. You can, you can hit every shot you can think of. You make almost every putt. But when you're playing very conservatively, especially if you have the perception that your swing is way off due to the fact that you're just missing the center of the club, uh, it could get you going down a, a road of trying to fix things that really don't need to be fixed. So um, 
So yeah, that, that's the message of today's video. And I really hope you will uh, go out, get some Dr. Scholl's uh, foot spray and start trying to heighten your awareness of where you're hitting the ball on the face because it will absolutely improve your game and improve your practice. Now, if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and go down to the subscribe button down below. It's a red subscribe button. And then next to it, there's a bell button. If you click that up to all, uh, you'll get notifications for all my future videos. I'm trying to come out with about three a week. So if you want notifications for those videos, please go ahead and do that. Also, if you like today's video, please go ahead and click on that thumbs up like button. That really, really helps out my channel. Also, if you know anybody that could benefit from today's video, please go ahead and take the link and share it with them so that they can watch this video as well. Lastly, if you have any comments or questions on today's video, please go ahead and go down into the comments section and write it down in there. I try to read them all and reply to all of them. Uh, so I appreciate you doing that and I hope I can help you out however I can. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I really, really hope this helped your game.